Although they have their differences, Sarge and Fillmore are best friends. Before settling down in Radiator Springs, Sarge was a sergeant in World War II. Ask Sarge about his military service, and he'll boast about stories of his daring fearlessness, like the time his tank friend lost his track in the Battle of the Bulge, and Sarge had to tow him to safety. For his bravery, Sarge received the Grill Badge of True Metal. However, there's one other story that Sarge prefers to keep untold, about the one time his characteristic military punctuality and precision failed him after an eventful night. According to the canon book, Struck by Lightning, Sarge and his comrades were given the weekend off while stationed overseas, and Sarge took the opportunity to have some fun. As he described it, he was, quote, young and foolish at the time. One night, he was heading back to the ship after a night on the town, when he came across a small, cute sports car who had run out of gas. As a gentle car, he offered to help. They got talking and she wanted to head back into town for a pint of oil. Even though he knew he had to get back to the ship, Sarge agreed. The time flew by, and before he knew it, it was past midnight. Alarmed, Sarge saw that the ship had left without him. Although he didn't know it at the time, the sports car had been a setup to distract him so that he would miss his ship. It had all been planned by a sergeant from another unit who didn't like him and had conspired to get him off the ship. It took him a few weeks to catch up with his boat, and he felt very embarrassed. As a punishment for his tardiness, he was ordered to spend countless nights mopping every deck of the ship. He was never late again. Around 1969, Fillmore camped out at Carstock, which was an outdoor concert on a farm. All the greatest musicians were there, with cars as far as the eye could see. He camped in the middle of the action, but was disappointed to miss the last day as he somehow found himself in the country impound. Even though his memory was a bit foggy as to how he got there, he did remember that the impound was not cool. In the comics, Sergeant Fillmore met in 1967, the Summer of Love, in the desert of Carburetor Canyon. Every year, Fillmore would join fellow hippies to celebrate peace and love all through the night. The highlight of the event was the burning of a large car frame statue. After one of the festivals, Fillmore was on his way out of Radiator Springs when he spotted a tie-dye covered geodesic dome. Instantly, he knew it was the place to call home. He began brewing and selling organic fuel along with bohemian accessories like tie-dyed mud flaps from his new shop, Fillmore's Taste Inn. Since Fillmore was a big fan of recycling, the wind chimes above his gate were made of old mufflers and the peace sign was one of his old tires. Visitors would try the special flavors in the tasting room behind his colorful hut. More and more cars came each year for the festival. In the third year of annual festivities, the town's sheriff became worried that things were getting out of hand. He contacted Sarge, who was an old friend from when he was in the military police. When Sarge arrived, he immediately confronted the group and told them that the event was a fire hazard. Fillmore tried to convince him just to feel the good vibes, but Sarge wasn't buying it and told Fillmore to take a car wash. As the two argued, that is, as Sarge barked orders and Fillmore calmly tried to make him mellow out, a car from the group lit the statue on fire. A flame drifted from the statue and caught Sarge's cloth top cover on fire. Everyone was too shocked to react. Luckily for Sarge, Fillmore threw a bucket of water over him and put out the fire. Grateful, Sarge told Fillmore that if he ever needed anything, he only had to ask. After that, Sarge headed back to his camp, Unit 51, and went to work as a quartermaster. He was also a security specialist with military connections around the globe. Fillmore continued to try and sell his organic fuel. Cars started asking Sarge for fuel and no one was buying Fillmore's fuel, but that would soon change. The townsfolk of Radiator Springs wanted to celebrate the town's anniversary, and Ramon had the idea of firing a cannon to start the celebrations with a bang. Since they didn't have one, Fillmore took advantage of Sarge's promise to help if he ever needed anything, and asked him for a cannon. Although he was surprised at first, Sarge was a car of his word and came as soon as possible with the cannon. It turned out that after Fillmore's call, 
Sarge had decided it was time for a career change and set up a surplus hut next door to Fillmore's hut. From there, he sold his own brand of the Mother Road Survival Kit. He guaranteed that if a car broke down, this kit would help them get through the night and maybe the next world war. Sometime before 2006, Fillmore saw Mater and a UFO fly by while having a drink at Flo's. In 2006, Sarge and Fillmore joined Lightning McQueen's pit crew. Sarge also created the SUV Boot Camp to introduce a tough regimen to cars unfamiliar with off-roading. Hello, face! Drop and give me 20 miles! Go, 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 go! In 2009, Fillmore witnessed Mater flying for the second time while at Flo's V8 Cafe. In 2011, Fillmore signed up as the fuel expert for Team Lightning McQueen. Sarge also came along to help on the team, and he was the one who switched out Lightning's fuel, which ended up saving Lightning's life. Once big oil, always big oil. Man. Sarge also got the British military's help to rescue his friends from the Lemons in London through a military friend named Pops. Due to being a pacifist, Fillmore did not fight against the Lemons. In 2013, Fillmore once tried to cure McQueen's hiccups by making him drink a special cure, but it caused flames to shoot out of his mouth instead. In 2021, Fillmore did a solo dance at a dance party with his friends at Flo's V8 Cafe. Fillmore also won a road race with Ramon from Radiator Springs to Chicago called the Route 66 Dash. Sarge is modeled after the famous Willys MB Jeep, which was mass-produced during World War II to provide transportation over uneven terrain. Over 300,000 Willys Jeeps were made during the war. Sarge's top speed is 65 miles per hour and has a 60 horsepower, 134 cubic inch Go Devil four cylinder engine. Fillmore is modeled after a 1960 Volkswagen Type 2 bus with a top speed of 60 miles per hour and 40 horsepower with a 1.2 liter engine. His license plate reads 51237, a reference to his first voice actor, George Carlin's birthday. Fillmore was at one time going to be named Waldmeyer after Bob Waldmeyer, a self-proclaimed hippie artist known to Route 66 fans for his detailed pen and ink maps and postcards of the route. Bob, now a vegan, preferred not to have his name put on a character that would become a Happy Meal toy. Sarge's license plate is 41WW2, which is a reference to World War II, and is also the year that the US joined the war. In the German dub, Fillmore is named Bully, since the VW bus he is portrayed after is called the VW Bully in Germany. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for daily videos about the Cars world.